Right then, uh, I'm going to explain how to evaluate the uh, predictive accuracy. Okay? It's very important to note that the uh, uh, forecasting performance evaluation is always, always a relative, not absolute. Okay? So it's, it's, it's just comparison. It's comparison between models. Okay? Here, let me open a scratch paper. Okay. Okay. Suppose there are two models. Okay. There are two models. Okay. And this here. This is future value. Okay. One period ahead, dependent variables. Right. And suppose there are two models. Okay. Two models. Okay. And then you can, you can, you can estimate the predictive distribution from the from the two models and then you will have you will have two distributions which means you will have two histograms right and one is here one is here and the other one is here suppose it's here suppose it's here okay here okay so because because you because you have you have different independent variables, or 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 you have or you have you have different different data set, or you have different priors, that's why you 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 will have you have different different uh, shape of the histograms, okay? Depending on what kind of data you use or the uh, priors or model like this, okay? And then suppose the uh, here is uh, here is our realization. Oh, where is the color? No, 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 no. Okay, uh, here. Suppose this here is the here is the our realization. Okay, this is this is realized realized value. Okay, then then let me say this is model one. This is model one. Okay. And this is the histogram from model two. Okay, then this is the realized realized value. Okay, so then according to the according to the according to the predicts according to the forecast from model two, the how much was the probability of this realization value or this this uh, this realized value? It was quite high, right? Because according to the model two forecast from model two. It's quite close to the, uh, the mean of the mean of the uh, posterior distributive distribution, right? Compared to what? Compared to model one, according to the according to model two, then the density of this realized value is here. This is density, density of this realized pretty uh, realized value at time kept plus one, and model one. Model one forecast that forecast that the probability of this particular value is see here, see right? So then compared to model one, model two is model two is better in forecasting, right? So then, so we say that model two forecasts better than model one, right? But what if what if the realized value is here? If the realization is here, okay. If it's here, so then model one forecast that the probability of this particular value is here. You can't believe that, but this you can't believe that this is straight line, okay? The straight line, okay. yeah. Here, and then the uh, model two forecast that. The probability or, or density of this particular value is see here, it's so, right. So then we say that model one forecasts better than model two if if the realization is here, right? Okay. And let me show you another example. Okay. Here, this is uh, model one, 
and this is model 2 here okay and suppose the uh, realized value is here realized value here so both these two are uh, predictive predictive distributions have the same mean or the same the, uh, the same mean of the uh, uh, predictive uh, predictive distribution right however the density is different again okay so you can't believe that but this is straight line okay this is a straight line okay right so then in terms of the in terms of average in terms of mean model 1 and model 2 are the same but in terms of density density at the mean is different the model 2 is much higher than model one. That means it means what? Model two is more. Is model two is much more certain. It's more certain that the the y kt plus one should be around here. Whereas model one is less confident. On average, it should be around here. But but model one focus that it could be it could be here or here too, right? But it, but it turns out that the realized, realized value is observed at this point. So then we have to say that model 2 should be better than model 1. Or the, or the model 2 should be preferred to model 1. So, right? Because the model 1, model 1 contains so much uncertainty. So, right? Roughly, model 1 forecasts the, uh, here, but yeah, it has it. It has so much ranges, right? So then, another word, in other words, we can say that model one, model one overestimated, overestimated the uh, uncertainty. Okay. In contrast, if if the realized values here, realized values here. So then, of course, model one is much better, because model two didn't for, uh, model two. But according, uh, according to model, uh, according to model two, the probability of this particular value is almost zero. The, right? The possibility is very, very small according to model two forecast, right? But model one, model one consider the uh, substantial probability, substan substantial pro possibility that the y kt plus one can be can be uh, can be observed at this value. So, right? Okay. So then, basically, we are forecasting density. We are forecasting distribution. And this is the reason why we have to evaluate the predictive accuracy in terms of density, not just, not just distance from the mean, right? Okay? Just think about this, right? Model 1 and model 2 has the same mean, right? Sometimes people evaluate the distance between mean here's mean and this and this is realized value just compare the mean and the realized value and their their the distance so in terms of distance in terms of distance model one and model two are indifferent right they are equivalent right but model two was model two was uh, much certain but but two was much was uh, was much more certain about about the about the mean. It should be mean, and then and then the the y kt plus one should be realized around this mean, right? With with very with very high confidence. But it turns out it's wrong, right? If 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 the if the realization is here, right? So that means model two underestimate the 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 uh, uncertainty right okay so again this is very important okay we should evaluate the predictive accuracy using the density not just distance from from the uh, between between the between the realized realization uh, realized value and the predictive uh, predictive mean okay 
and then we gonna we gonna we gonna compute we gonna compute this density using MATLAB.